everyone, and welcome back to The Traveling Man. Today's adventure brings me right down the street from my house. I'm at the Monkey Bar and Grill, also known as The Train Stop. This place has a lot of history. It's gone through a lot of renovation and a lot of changes, but um, they're still doing food trucks. They don't have the restaurant part open. They don't have the kitchen quite yet done because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic thing slowed them down. But um, I got some grilled cheese sandwich and some Getta. These are um, Getta Tots, and we're going to try them out on today's episode of The Traveling Man and take a look at the train stop, monkey bar, uh, whatever they decide to call this thing. So all you have to do is follow me. But first, we're going to take a look at the Little Miami State Park, also known as the Little Miami Scenic Trail or the Loveland Bike Trail, and all of the surrounding areas, including the US-22 Bridge and the Little Miami River. This is Old 3C Highway, and I'm not quite sure what this is here, or why it's here, or what it's from. This is the U.S. Route 22 Bridge. It's an east and west route and is one of the original United States highways of 1926. It runs from Cincinnati, Ohio to Newark, New Jersey, and ends at the Newark Airport. The route is named the William Penn Highway throughout most of Pennsylvania. The bridge has a total length of 1,358 feet and a deck width of 29.9 feet. It was built in 1937 and rehabilitated in 1991. The Little Miami Scenic Trail is the third longest paved trail in the United States, running 78.1 miles through five southwestern counties in the state of Ohio. This is a multi-use trail and sees heavy recreational use by hikers and bicyclists, as well as occasional horseback riders. Over 700,000 people made use of this trail back in 2014, and I don't have any uh, stats that are newer than that, unfortunately. This is the Kings Island Waterfall, and it's named that because it's located only about a mile away from the popular Kings Island Amusement Park that's located over in Mason, Ohio. This gentle yet consistent cascade down the Simpsons Creek is one of the largest yet surprisingly unknown waterfalls in the Cincinnati region of Ohio. Welcome to the train stop, also known as the Monkey Bar and Grill, located in Foster, Ohio. And boy, does this place have one crazy history to tell. This is the story of Sam the Chimp, the famous smoking chimp, located at the train stop, now known as the Monkey Bar and Grill. In the late 1970s, Sam and his brother Rudy were abandoned somewhere in Boone County, Kentucky by a bankrupt carnival. The two young chimps would end up in Cincinnati, Ohio, doing tailgate entertainment. The two young chimps would be displayed on the back of a truck where patrons could feed them candy, soda, and other various foods. This is probably how Sam developed his affinity for grape soda. During the early days, the owners could be seen taking Sam out for walks on a leash. Sam didn't have a cage, but there were abandoned foundations in front of the tavern that were eventually turned into living quarters for Sam. Most patrons grew to have fond memories of visiting Sam here at the tavern. If you ask any local that grew up around the area during this time period, they'll definitely tell you the thing that they remember most about Sam was him sitting in his cage smoking. Although Sam did love drinking grape soda as well as coffees and eating snicker bars. Just about the time when the construction was finishing for the Little Miami Scenic Trail and gaining popularity, the Humane Society would catch wind of a chimpanzee along the bike trail. 
Many people would tell happy stories involving Sam, but the Humane Society did not think his living conditions were proper, especially with him smoking and drinking grape soda and all the other foods he would consume. On April 15, 1978, Sam would be confiscated and taken temporarily to The Ohio State University. Ken Harris, the owner of Sam and the Tavern, would be charged with cruelty to animals. You know, I can't believe that while trial dates had been set for the owner of Sam, um, while all this was going on, Sam's cage was being renovated and furnished with things like a television, a radio, and a refrigerator. And, crazy enough, the new habitat would be approved by the United States Department of Agriculture. Even more bizarre, Harris and his lawyer would have a wedding arranged between Sam and a female chimpanzee that was named Susie. And when Sam would return to the train stop inn, they would be married. And like I said before, the Humane Society was not only concerned by the living conditions, but also his diet and, um, you know, things consisting of beer, potato chips, and cigarettes, because that's not healthy for a chimpanzee. After the news media picked up on this story, it would attract the attention of Jane Goodall, a world-renowned primate expert and researcher. Many locals would rally together, starting up a Save the Chimp Fund. In the end, the jury would decide to acquit Ken Harris of cruelty to animals, and Sam would be returned to his living quarters. But of course, the Humane Society would not put up with this and would chase after custody of Sam. Leading to a settlement in 1988, and the exact terms were never disclosed, or Sam's location. But many believe that he was transferred to a research center in Florida. This is the grilled cheese and chips, and it came from a food truck called Chill Out Italian Ice, which they uh, normally make Italian ice. That's what their specialty is. But they also serve grilled cheese sandwiches and waffles. And then I got from, I think it was called Rock and Roll. This is the Geta Tots, and it looks amazing. It's really hot. Ooh, and... Cherry Cokes. That looks amazing. And sorry for all the lens flare um, and the blurriness. This is not going very well today. Let's see if I can. There, we got it focused. Ah, there it is. All right, here's a look outside. This is from the balcony eating inside. Technically, I'm inside, but I'm kind of outside. It's like a garage door that opens. This is amazing, and there's the Little Miami River. I have had Geta before, and it's a Cincinnati staple. It's You don't really find it very many places, but um, I've had it before, and I sort of liked it, but um, we're gonna try this and see what it's like. It's really, really hot, so bear with me a moment while I try and cool it off. Oh. M G. That is so unique and so different. It's amazing. The Korean barbecue sauce that's on it blends perfectly with, I think there's um, turkey gravy or chicken gravy in that. This is amazing and the tots are amazing. The whole thing's amazing. Okay, now it's time to try out the grilled cheese. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike from all the music playing in the background, which is completely out of my control, but this is the grilled cheese. I love how it's got the grill lines on it, and it looks like it's grilled to perfection. It's kind of crispy. I think it has mustard inside of it. There is cheese, American cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. There is mustard inside there. I've never had a grilled cheese sandwich with mustard before, but that's amazing. Mm. Wow. Now I'm kind of sad that I'm moving because I won't get to experience this very many more times. Or maybe I can drive down here and experience it. Okay, so what were your thoughts on the Geta Tots? I liked them. I thought it was positively disgusting. I think Geta is just one of those things where you, like you either you like it or you don't. It's a very um, specific um, item. It's got a really distinct flavor, but try that grilled cheese and tell me what you think about it. The grilled cheese is absolutely perfection. Well, what do you like about it? I like the crunchiness. I like the, the meltiness of the consistency of the cheese, and I like the um, fact that they use mustard on it. I just wanted to make mention that it is properly prepared. The getta, I just don't care for getta. You either like it or you don't. This is the, I think it's called the Italian ice. Italian ice, and 
I had the, uh, yes, the Italian ice chill out and I had the grilled cheese sandwich from here. I'm gonna back up and try not to crash. <laughs> the grilled cheese from this place, I just wanted to say, was fantastic. I loved the grill marks on it. The mustard in it was really unique. I've never had a grilled cheese with mustard in it, so that was fantastic. So if you're ever near Mainville, Ohio, definitely come check out this place if they're at the train stop slash monkey bar and grill. We're here every weekend. Every awesome. Weekend. Yep. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Hello, come visit us at the Monkey Bar every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're Chill Out Truck Italian Ice. We serve waffles, grilled cheese, coffee, and much more. Come check us out. Okay, so I'm back here because I wanted to make mention. I just had the uh, Get a Tots from the Rock and Roll food truck, and it was amazing. So I just wanted to uh, let everyone know to come visit them when they're at the uh, train stop slash Monkey Bar and Grill because it was fantastic. Hi, so we're at Rock and Roll's food truck and um, this is our first time at Monkey Bar and it's an awesome place to come visit. So we have um, rolls, we so sell egg rolls and then our awesome wraps. We also have amazing Geta Tots, um, so come check us out. We're from Monroe, Ohio. Yeah, the Geta Tots were absolutely spectacular. I've had Geta before, but never like that. So come check out one of the coolest places in Southwest Ohio. Thank you for joining me as we took a look at the train stop, also known as the Monkey Bar and Grill. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click the bell icon so you don't miss anything here at Tilted Tripod Media. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.